I said, this man cannot be serious. <laughs> oh, but he's serious, y'all. You know, Donald Trump out here wilding, fam. <laughs> but I don't like that, though. I mean, don't get it twisted. I'm a sneak. Well, I won't say I'm a sneakerhead. I feel like a sneakerhead are people who wait in the line like from <laughs> midnight to the next morning at 10 a.m. for some pairs of sneakers, right? And they always know when certain shoes is coming out. I ain't on it like that, but I'm low-key a sneakerhead. I love sneaking. I collect shoes. You know, and it's also to make up over the years when I was in my 20s or when I was a kid or a teenager, I wasn't able to get a lot of sneakers I now have. You know what I mean? And I'm able to get now. Being that I'm up in age, it's, it's a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? That's one of the things that I love that I'm able to do now as a grown man that I wasn't able to do before. You know, I can go to the um, sneaker outlets and cop like three, four pairs if I want to. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, I could do that today if I wanted to. Probably more than that, but I'm not trying to be on it like that. But anyway, um, yo, we live in this crazy times, man. And Mike Epps, <laughs> him and Shannon Sharp played us, y'all. It was all staged. Look at these two. Look at these two circus clowns. All that. Now there was no beef. You see you see how happy they are? Did now did that sound like they, they was having beef and they was really going at it? And then they talked this men and they pieced it up. Man, it was all staged. Yo, most of these comedians getting at each other and getting at content certain content creators, man, listen, they just trying to run them numbers up. The joke's on us. I told y'all this a while ago. I can't believe I fell for this one because I thought this was serious, you know what I mean? And now he going at Mace. And then Eddie Griffin getting that Shannon Sharp. I don't know, man. You know what, what women say nowadays. It's giving, it's giving dusty vibe. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what it's giving. It's giving a circus clown vibes. Like, this is all premeditated, planned, and thought out. It was all staged. Mm -hmm. He's just playing us. You know what I mean? Ain't none of this stuff real. Let me get back to these sneakers, right? That Trump. Oh, man. What to know about the debut of Trump's $399 golden high top sneakers? Now, let me tell you something. All the brothers that are hustlers who bought those shoes i'm telling you, a lot of brothers bought those shoes because they're gonna resell them on ebay feel me they probably gonna raise the stock of the price for like a 900 pop they know what they doing so don't look at this one way y'all think oh see that's the problem with black people you know they always try to market it to us you know simple things like some chicken and a celebrity and they won our votes well some of our people are lost me, I'm not pertaining and none of this campaign stuff. I'm not voting for neither parties because at the end of the day, presidents are not elected. They're selected. Just my opinion. <sighs> With that being said, back to this article. At a sneaker conference in Philadelphia. What? Why they? Why they? <laughs> why he in Philly for? Get up out of there. As, you know what I mean? Philly going through enough. Over the weekend, former President Donald Trump unveiled his latest pitch, and it wasn't a stump speech. The businessman turned politician, he's definitely a businessman, debuted a line of glimming golden sneakers called the Never Surrender High Top Sneaker. First of all, alright, the shoe couldn't look alright, but with the American flag and all that, yeah, no thanks fam. If you really know what the American flag represent, you wouldn't want no part of that, but as a black person, you know what I'm saying? But that's neither here nor there. I ain't copping no shoes like that, you know what I'm saying? And if I was to, I would definitely resell it. 
Which sell online for three hundred and ninety nine a pair. Come on, fam. I ain't paying no three hundred and ninety nine for no type of shoe. Unless it's some Yeezys, you know what I mean? Because I don't have no Yeezys yet. I definitely want to get those. But even I don't even want to cop those right now. I just don't have that kind of money. This is something, well, I do, but I just don't want to. I feel like if I can't buy it two times or three times, then why buy the shoe? You know what I'm saying? This is something I've been talking about for 12 years, 13 years. Oh, whatever. You're full of it. You're full of it, Trump. And I think it's going to be a big success. Trump said to the crowd at SneakerCon Philadelphia. That's the real deal, he added. Holding up the flaxen footwear, which features an American flag on the back and a capital T on the side. This guy, man. I'm starting to think he a narcissist. But anyway, sorry, y'all. This is women that got me with that word. Trump's stop at the Philadelphia convention was met with a mix of chants from supporters and boos from critics. The Associated Press reported. The announcement came one day after a New York judge ordered Trump <laughs> and the Trump Organization to pay over $355 million, good, good goal, as part of a civil fraud case. Man, prosecutors, see, that's why he's doing this. He ain't doing it from the kindness of his heart. And plus, why would you charge that much? Let me find out he ain't got no money. Well, he got money, but he ain't got money, if you get what I'm saying. Prosecutors had accused Trump, his two oldest sons, and other associates of inflating the value of certain properties and other assets for financial gain. Trump is also running excuse me, for the Republican nomination for president, hoping to notch re-election this year during the fall race. What's the most important thing? Trump asked the sneaker conference crowd to go out and vote, right? We have to go out and vote. Yeah, I'm good on that. The product launch was an unusual meeting of the worlds of politics and fashion. Well, we know who he trying to cater to, our people, because they know we love us some sneakers. Bridget Barrett, a University of Colorado Boulder professor who studies political and campaign political and campaign merchandise says she's never seen anything comparable to Trump branded sneakers. Plenty of politicians turned their reputation into a money maker, but typically not at this level of politics. Barrett said via email, he is more akin to celebrity spokespeople and influencers. Yeah, how long is this article? I want to wrap this up. Yo, believe it or not, a lot of black people who was once strong supporters of the Democrats, over the years have realized the mistakes they made and they woke up to who the Democrats really represent and who they are, right? So a lot of people have converted over to being Republicans. Did y'all notice that? Either way, I'm not partaking in voting at all, man. It's just not, it's not my place. It's not for me. But... I get the good things Trump has done and was trying to do. Like with all this stuff with the migrants, you know, this is what Trump was trying to avoid. You know what I mean? That's why he wanted to build the wall. And I believe when he get in office, he's going to, he's going to reverse it and he's going to send them all. He's going to send a lot of these people back home. I just hate how they word black voters would go for Trump because he's selling sneakers. Like they must think we animals, man. Like we just got no sense and we, we just love we just love watermelons and chicken and and sneakers and we just love violence. Just using our women. They they just think all black people are thugs, huh? That's just we all pookies and ray rays and, and you know, these types of you know pe- you know, these types of people. Like, like we ain't got no intelligence. Like, everybody... Let me say this. I was just telling somebody this. Even though we're not black. But everybody who's black is not ghetto. Everybody who's black is not a ninja. All right? Everybody who's black, you know, doesn't drink 40s and, and smoking blunts. Like, I just hate the way Hollywood, you know, the, the media, 
depicted the imagery of our people. And that's why Kevin Samuels used to always harp on how the importance of your image, black man. He, he was really, you ever notice he was heavy on that? He was heavy on that. But see, people didn't focus on that until he started getting at the black women. You know what I mean? But he was always big on black men. Control your image. But I just want to throw that out there. Okay. So what says you? <laughs> Ain't this ridiculous, man? Um, At least Trump gave us some money, right? Even though we had to pay for it now. But Sleepy Joe, uh, he got to go, man. You gotta go. But at the end of the day, they're gonna put whoever they put in office, you know. Um, y'all do what you want. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I'm not gonna give you no advice on that. I will never vote ever again. Knowing what I know now, mm -mm. I don't wanna partake in such nonsense. Yeah, I remember um, there was a conspiracy theorist that said um, when they mentioned the word trumpets in the Bible, they was trying to say that if you break it down, the science of that, it, trumpet is really Trump and Pence, as in Mike Pence. And I was like, come on, fam. <laughs> like, really? I don't know about all that. <laughs> and then they was trying to say, get it, Trump? The trumpets are blowing? Hmm, I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. It's just a little nugget for y'all. A, a little something. But, uh, Trump be wilding, man. This dude knows how to, um, draw traffic. He definitely knows how to do that. Anyway, it's your boy Donnie. I'm about to end this. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions about these sneakers. And then had the nerve to charge the people $400. You might as well say it plus tax. You know what I'm saying? We in inflation, bro. Like these people, they really don't even. Yo, I'm telling you something. The people at the top, they really don't give a <laughs> about us, bro. They don't care. These, they're millionaires and billionaires. These people just, they're so far removed from reality. It's not even funny. But let me give you a key to why a lot of you are hurting out there. Because I finally realized, I always knew it, but now I'm really understanding the importance on holding on to money. A lot of people that mostly a lot of people that are rich, you, you know, there's one quality they all have. And just a lot of people that have a lot of money. A lot of them are cheap. They're cheap. They try to find their ways to spend the smallest amount of money. I'm telling you, they're cheap. I'm starting to develop that habit like. Uh, uh unless I really need it, I'll be like, nah, mm -mm, I'm not spending my money. So, shout out to my landlord. She told me you gotta cultivate the spirit of saving, uh, spirit, energy, however you want to word it. But yeah, I'm starting to cultivate it, man, because I'm tired of struggling. I'm really tired of it. So. I'm not going to be living in no recession. Cause that's what this pretty much feel like to me. And I'm not going to be struggling. Until a dollar crash, I'm going to have me some bread. Anyway, it's your boy Donnie. I'm out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. And give me your thoughts and opinions. You can hit my email at Addy and let me know what videos you want me to do. Or look in the community section and I ask this question. You can let me know what you what video you want me to do even right there when i get to a thousand subs i'm gonna plug in my twitters and my instagram till then i'm out